Hello, my name is Edgar Mengenberg and I'm a software support engineer for Maximo and Toriga support lab services at IBM. After watching this video, you will know how to create a condition for work, also known for short CFW, um, as well as how to associate related CFWs in the IBM Maximo oil and gas 7.5.1 version. So in order to do this, um, we use an example where we um, have a suspected leak in an oil silo. So as a safety precaution, the uh, main oil silo must be shut down to do various inspections. And so you must add a CFW to indicate it's on related job plans as well as work orders. And as you can only put one CFW to one work order or one job plan, you will need to associate the various related CFWs. So in order to do so, we go to the go to planning and to the CFW, which you will only find in the oil and gas application or um, industry solution rather. Um, so you won't find this in the um, core maximum asset management um, version as it's a industry specific um, regulated terminology. So in we've got here, so we go to new. So let's put the first main one in, let's call it leak. And it's a leak in the main oil silo. So you've got two different types. In this case, you will have a shutdown. It's in draft today's date when you put this in. Choose the organization, and you've got six main default values, which you can obviously add to. So in this case, we'll use inspection, save this, and then it's in draft still, so you need to activate this to make it an active COW. And here it shows you that that has been active. So let's add a couple of associated CFWs. So let's do one called isolated, or actually isolate rather, and call that the asset needs to be isolated. The type will still be shut down, still in draft. It will happen in the same organization and the function will stay the same as well. In this case, it's an inspection. Save that. Activate it. Okay. So now we need to do another one. Let's call that silo shutdown. So main silo shutdown, still the same shutdown type, same organization, and the same function. Inspection, save that. Now we'll need to associate these all up before we then save it again and activate it again and there we go so now we've got a condition for work and the associations uh, all married up so that's it really um, so just to give some um, feedback um, basically when you create a um, preventive maintenance or job plan or a, a work order generation. Um, you need to observe the reasons for work as well as the conditions for work and the function fields values for those generated work orders. And you will notice that those values are not then populated initially. Um, that is working as designed, it's not a bug. Um, and the reason for this is that RFWs and CFWs and conditions are all part of so-called opportunity maintenance. So as such, they need to be changed frequently and last minute, and they will not come over during a pro-general work order generation. 
So um, that's it for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, video and you've learned some from it. If so, then I appreciate if you um, click the like, bu like button on this uh, YouTube video. And um, thank you very much for watching this video today.